All right, everybody, I'm a back. And I got a whole bunch of goodies on my SD card. We're gonna go through them relatively fast, we'll say. Okay, don't be overwhelmed by all the nonsense I have on here. You don't need most of it. Okay, one very important uh, hack is this one, the iOS 236 installer. <clears throat> I will put a link on how I was able to get this. Okay, so we press one here. To install from SD card. See, there I found it. Okay, so then we press A. Let it install. Okay, so this is the most important part. Okay, see how it says press 1 if you want to play pirated games or press 2 if you have no need for piracy? Press 2. Okay, do not press 1. Either way, it, it will install, so just press 2. Okay, complete. Now you're saying, okay, what was the point of that? All right, there's some, uh, not everything needs this iOS here, but when you want to do like extra cool stuff or make it like easier for you, you're going to want to do it. Okay, so we're going to go through the ones here as we see them. Okay, so FC, FC Ultra GX, that's your Nintendo. Okay, here's a channel installer. This will install it to your main menu. Okay, I'm going to go through one of them, and then the rest, uh, they're, they're all the same, so I'm not going to go through them. You, you don't really need them. This is just more for convenience. Press yes. Okay. So that means when I go to the home menu, the FCE Ultra, the program that we saw here, will be there. But you can actually load it from here if you have it. See how it says just the program? So you just load it. See? So I have a bunch of uh, games loaded on here. I'm just, you know, let's go through classic one just to show you that it works. Let's try some Super Mario. Right? So there you go. See that? See? It works fine. All that. See? Cancel that. Cancel. What's going on here? Go to the menu. Okay, we'll exit here. So that was Nintendo. Every Nintendo game I've ever put on here works just fine. This is a uh, stuff for GameCube. That's a whole nother video. Okay, so Genesis, right? Okay, you press A. So you, right here, you'd be like load new game. That always SD card unless you have it somewhere else. So I have my games here. And here's all my games, right? You put whatever you put a ton of games on this freaking SD card, you know. Look, I hear Sonic and Knuckles, right? Works just fine. Frames per second are awesome, looks great, plays great. fine so with this one I think you always want to go to system reboot I think if you return to loader it like dumps on you okay see here's that that uh, Nintendo one that we installed see now we don't have to go into the homebrew channel to turn it on um, that's what the channel installers are for. 
and that that thing we did at the beginning that's uh gonna le let us install more channels and other stuff that are useful but we'll go into that later okay, another cool app is this one the homebrew browser app i'll show you guys how to get this one this one uh, is pretty useful okay so super nintendo here actually wait, i passed it the gxgo okay for those uh people that like neo geo Jeez, my freaking controller is going out of control here. Okay, for everybody that's been in the arcade and you play some uh, Neo Geo games, I just got a uh, puzzle bobble. I'm going to see if it works. Let's try it out. Okay, that's what you want actually. <laughs> Alright, so you press the uh, minus to put in quarters. And then you press plus for to play. Okay. Cool. There we go. We got some puzzle bobble up in here. Yep. Looks like it works fine. Alright, and then you press home to get out of it, home to get out some more. All these other ones work fine. The only thing with the Neo Geo is that not every game works on there. Actually, there's very few games that do work. Um, if they're too big, if they're over like a certain size, it just won't load them because the, the Wii does not have enough memory for it. Okay, now we have Super Nintendo. Everybody loves Super Nintendo. I love Super Nintendo. Look at that, we got some, uh, pretty much every freaking game you want, you know? They all work fine. Some Donkey Kong. Same. Uh, the only thing is, since the Wii controller only has once four buttons, the L and R that the Super Nintendo use, can, you, you can uh, remap them but you, it's better if you use a GameCube controller or I believe the Pro Controller still works. But for most of, most Super Nintendo games don't need all of the buttons all at the same time. And uh, they're very doable without it. So. The graphics are good. The FPS is, is good. Boom. Okay. There you go. I mean, it handles awesome. It's it's good. It, it works. You know, and this is just from your Wii, from an SD card, man. <laughs> just it doesn't doesn't take that long to do. It's uh, hours. You have you'll never run out of games. Like you, I mean, I I'm sure you would, but. Really, you're gonna have a ton of games. All right, here's another cool one. It's the Game Boy Advance. This one works fine too. And what's awesome about the the Game Boy Advance is that it only has four buttons, so that that works great. What we got here's a cool game that not a lot of people know about. It's Drill Dozer. That's yeah, from Game Freak. If that name is familiar, those are the people that do Pokemon. I'm not gonna start a new game because the beginning takes a little long. But I just want to show you the the little the whole idea of the game here. I should have some save files. Nope. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, with all of these, you can create save files and load them and all that. Or you can actually do them onto the, con the console itself. So that's cool. But yeah, definitely try Drill Dozer. That's an awesome game. Not a lot of people talk about it. 
but definitely had some fun playing that one. Um, this is the thing that we needed for the, the first part, okay? That, I'll make this a whole another video because wads are really tricky. And, uh, yeah, okay, if you have a nunchuck, this is awesome. I think I have my nunchuck. Let me see. Okay, so I got my nunchucky here. This is Super Nintendo. So I have all these mapped already. Not all of these games work 100%, but some of them do. So I'm gonna show you some Mario here. We're gonna try it out. I do suggest messing with the buttons because I think all the buttons are jacked up. Yeah, like start is like the main, the home menu. Check it out. It's freaking great, man. Look at that. And it's really not hard to... It, it plays just like if you have Super Mario uh, Galaxy. It plays a lot like that. You know, you make the camera, the little D buttons in here. That that one I would replace. The jump is fine. The Z is fine. I don't know what the C does here. Yeah, I'll definitely change that. This is like plus. Look at this. It's great. Love this game. Anyways, to get out of it, oh my gosh, I forget. I think it's like maybe plus and minus. No. Okay, it's like one and two and plus. Yeah, you can totally mess with all the buttons here. Like, go to settings, you mess with all this. All this, you can fix all the buttons. I don't think it saves though when you uh, exit out of the, the system. I'm fairly certain it does not. But, I mean, for what it is, it's uh, really good. Right here, this Wii Media Player. This is good for if your Wii is a white Wii, you can play DVDs on it using this thing. And you can, uh, some lower resolution, if you have like videos and stuff, it'll play stuff from your, your SD card. Or if you put in a USB in the back, it'll play from there. But if it's like high definition stuff, it's not going to play. You can't ask the Wii to do that. Okay, so we got PlayStation here. Again, whoops, whoopsies, oh man, ah whatever, again with this, um, not every game is going to work, not every game works great, uh, but you can get some pretty cool stuff, alright here's a cool game, Mega Man X, and again uh, all of these will be their own videos and all that There's just to show that it it works that your Wii can do this okay, what's the start button here okay there it goes I think I need to program all the buttons here. I don't think I don't think the start button is a uh, program. Oh, it's like some weird button combination. Yeah, definitely mess with the buttons with the PlayStation. Anyway, but it works. See how it's running? It works. It runs fine. I'm actually have to turn off my. We 